I know in 12 and a half years, I, I'm, I'm sure you've probably had some failures in, over that period of time. Anything, uh, anything come to mind that didn't work out for you the way you thought it would? Yeah, I'll, I'll never forget it as long as I live. I, one of the um, industries that we love working with, as I mentioned a little bit before, was a car dealership. And mm -hmm. I had a former driver, actually, who started selling cars. And we got an opportunity, and we did a horrible job. As I, I would have told people I would have fired myself, and I blew a chance for probably over $120,000 of the business because we didn't execute this order the way we normally do. We didn't provide Rockstar customer service. We just, we did a horrible job and we try not to, we're not perfect. Most of our deliveries go as planned, but this one didn't. We blew our one chance and it never came back. Wow. What, what did you learn from that? I learned that I needed to make sure that when people aren't fully trained, you need to make sure that you assist them and teach them and train them up versus trusting they're going to do what you think they're going to do. Because if you don't give them the knowledge, you're not going to do it right. And I, trusted somebody who didn't have the training, which was my fault as a leader. I didn't lead correctly. And as a, as a result, I fell on my face and cost my business, my family, our success, huge amounts of money, sales and profit, and probably didn't help our reputation much for that one situation because reputations can go up and down. So is, is that when you resolve to start, you know, training your drivers on day one, how to handle uh, responses from your customers and so forth? Or, um, or was that, did that just reinforce that training is something you cannot sacrifice in your company? Training is something that, I mean, I'll admit training isn't my strength. I mean, one of the other, I guess, more comical lessons I learned in business was by my niece at the time who was five years old. And she came in with my brother who, um, was helping me with something and she want, all she wanted to do is help. And I asked her to stack of some cartridges and have all the labels facing her. And she came so proudly to get me when she was done and said, uncle, uncle, how did I do? And it's looking at my face. She goes, did I mess up? And I said, no, I messed up because every label was facing me, but they were facing in all four directions up, down sideways. Cause <laughs> I didn't do a good job of show, explaining to her what I wanted, but she did exactly what she was told. That was one of my most valuable lessons as far as being a leader of a business. If I don't give someone good information, I can't expect them to do what's in my head because they can't read my mind. Talk to me so, by a five-year-old. So true. So true. <laughs>